is Bill Morrison from Morrisville. Hi. He was in the My 10th kids go Mountain there. Division um, in World War II, and he'll tell you a little bit about that later. Uh, how about Mr. Morrison with the 10th Mountain Division? Thank you. Hmm. Uh, Bill Morrison, 10th Mountain Division, Gay Troops of World War II. Our division was formed in 1943 in Camp Hale, Colorado, to fight and live and whatnot at high altitudes, cold weather, rock climbing, things of that sort. The division was unique. It was a volunteer group. You had to have three letters of recommendation, recommendation to get in originally. Things changed later on. We got to Italy in 1940. Five January, after many, many years of fighting there by other groups, the war in Italy was very difficult for many groups. And Ernie Parr wrote a book called Brave Men that talks about how the soldiers survived that very difficult struggle. So we had two battles in 1945 early on. The war in Italy was basically about trying to control mountains and hills because the roads in the valley are controlled by the people who control the hills. So our first battle was simply to push the road a little bit farther north toward the Po Valley. The second battle was actually the breakout where for the first time the Americans were not running uphill fighting the Germans. They were going across the Po Valley as fast as possible to keep the Germans from escaping from the, through the Alps. So we spent time at the uh, foothills of the Alps. We were in the upper end of Lake, uh, Lake Garda when the war ended in May, 2nd, May 6, 1945, two days before the war in Europe ended. And when the war was over, a lot of our guys got involved in skiing, discovered new ski areas, taught skiing, ran ski schools, served on the ski patrols, <coughs> and had a big impact on the American industry of skiing. So I thank you for listening, and Cindy, uh... You trained for skiing, didn't you? You trained I think, for skiing? Uh, give, give each one of the children. Okay. Oh. Uh, sometimes in wartime, there's some moment that just sticks in your mind, and this is something that stuck in my mind from 1945. I wrote this in 1946, I think. 47. But I was kind of a... I've had it beneath uh, book memorabilia. People reading it when I realized Bill was coming to But you're welcome to have it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>